and welcome back to the channel <clears throat> on this video I want to talk about a new bike that has come out onto the market and that's the Aventon Abound cargo e-bike and the bike has just been released in this past week here and uh, I'm going to give you some of the uh, specs on the bike. So it's a uh, Aventon uh, is known for pretty good bikes. I mean, they uh, anybody that I know that has one have good things to say about their bikes. I haven't heard too many or any really to be to think about when I think about it any negative uh, words about the Aventon. So this is the Aventon Abound. A good e-bike name out there, Aventon uh, brand, and the bike is a cargo bike. It's got a uh, 48 volt, 750 watt hub uh, motor, geared. Uh, turning right here, and. Uh, it comes with a 48 volt 15 amp hour battery so not too bad the tires on the bike are four four inch by 2.4 inches so that would not be considered a flat tire i believe three inches and above is a flat tire It has hydraulic brakes. Hopefully my memory will remember what I wanted to say on this bike exactly, but uh, the colors, it comes in two colors, blue and I believe the other one was beige. It's got four uh, pedal assist levels. It's a seven speed. I don't remember the shifter uh, brand uh, uh, on that. One of the big surprises on this bike to me is the weight. So the weight of the bike is 81 pounds. It's a little surprising to me that they can make a, a cargo bike that weighs just 81 pounds. But uh, it does come with the rear rack. The rear rack, I believe, can hold 143 pounds. So pretty good uh, amount of weight can be put on there. And... Uh, the payload capacity uh, weight is 440 pounds, so a pretty good amount of weight. So this bike is going to be another bike that's going to try to get people to convert from their cars to electric bikes. You can carry uh, a couple of children on the bike or lots of uh, freight, like groceries and such. So I've never ridden a cargo bike, but uh, I can see where that bike sure could come in handy, you know, if you want to uh, completely go electric bike um, you know instead of a car so the price on the bike is uh, listed at about twenty two hundred dollars so that's a little more expensive than the uh, electric
I don't know what uh, controller is on the bike and I don't know what the peak wattage is for the motor. I just know that it's a 750 watt motor. I mean, I do trust that name, Aventon. Uh, that is a good name for a bike. And uh, I'm noticing a, a real trend here in uh, 2023 so far where they are really pushing the, uh, like they're getting more into the mainstream of electric bikes now, the uh, cargo bikes, and also the trikes uh, are starting to push uh, forward. So that's gonna get, allow for more riders, you know, to get out there uh, and uh, get uh, a bike. Um, so uh, that's good to see and uh, We'll see where it goes. We're still early in the uh, 2023 year, but uh, I'm sure there'll be more uh, cargo and uh, trike bikes coming out in the future. Of course, you have the Rad Wagon. You've got the Electric Expedition. And now you've got the Abound by uh, Aventon. I don't know which bike would be the best one. I guess it's going to be dependent, first of all, on your budget and how much you're willing to spend. And It is kind of hard to decide when you, especially if you've never purchased a bike before you know and you're, you're overwhelmed with all these bikes to buy and and you get to the point where you watch videos that's the way I was doing uh, when I was buying my bikes I watch the videos and try to soak in as much information on the bike as I could or read information on the bike and uh, you know that'll only uh, get you so far and Eventually, you got to make a choice and it would be nice if you could just go into a bike shop and test ride whichever bike you want to ride. As we go right along with traffic this time around. So yeah, if you're looking for a cargo bike, I mean, I can only go by pictures. I know there's a few videos out there that uh, they've done a little bit of uh, reviews on. And I think that's a fair price, really. I think that's right, right there. That's, that's not too bad. I mean, it's a little more expensive though than electric. And unless I got to test them both out and, and see them in person, kind of hard to choose, I guess. You got to look at it and say, is there $600 more value on the Aventon than there is on the electric? Or the Rad Wagon, I think the Rad Wagon is you know, I can't remember the price of that one. It's a little, it's over 2000 anyway, as well. So just another bike uh, to throw into the mix.
that uh, bike kind of caught my eye. I thought that looked like a pretty good one, the uh, uh, Venton. I always get thrown off on the name of the bike, uh, the company there, whether it's a uh, Aventon or a Venton. I've heard it both ways, and I've said it both ways. I'm not exactly sure which one is correct, but I guess it doesn't matter. Both close enough. I'd like to try one of those cargo bikes like like the Aventon uh, Abound with uh, a good amount of uh, payload on there, like max it out at 440 pounds. Uh, I wonder what that would feel like to drive that with that much weight on there and, and going up a hill. As I'm getting a pretty good amount of rain in my face right now. Uh, that would be pretty pr pretty good to try. I just wouldn't want to have to make a sudden stop. I'd be worried about that. But it's supposed to, you know, have the hydraulic braking, so hopefully good brakes on it. Because I would definitely want good brakes if I'm going to be carrying a, a decent amount of load or if I have uh, children on the back, you know. Safety is always first. So, uh, yeah, we want to watch out for that. Well, that's going to do it for this video. If you have any comments on this video or any other video on the channel, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, we thank you for that. Hit that uh, subscribe button. And also, if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up here on Oregon eBiker Mark, Hit that notification bell and you will be notified. And hey, maybe you want to purchase the Lyric Graffiti. I do have a link in the descriptions. If you uh, use that link to get to the site and then put in the code, discount code, Oregon eBiker Mark, all one word, Oregon eBiker Mark, that'll save you $150 on the purchase of a bike. So once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Take care.